If you are thinking about moving to Colts Neck, New Jersey and wondering, what's it really like to live there? Then this video is for you. Today, I'm going to give you my pros and cons of living in Colts Neck, New Jersey. Let's go. Hello and welcome back. My name is Corey and today we're going to talk about an amazing town here in New Jersey. Colts Neck is a suburb in Monmouth County and is part of the New York metropolitan area. When I think of Colts Neck, I think of massive homes, large lots, and a very country feel. And you know what? That's exactly what Colts Neck is all about. Colts Neck is 31.79 miles squared with a population of around 10,000 residents. Did you know that Colts Neck has no sidewalks or traffic lights? Did you know that Bruce Springsteen owns a house in Colts Neck? So let's dive in and get started with the pros and cons of living in Colts Neck, New Jersey. But I have to let you know, they're mostly pros. The first pro about Colts Neck is simply how gorgeous the town is. Colts Neck is also known for its history in horse farming. As you drive along the streets of this incredible area, you'll notice that Colts Neck is not your average town. Despite the mansion-sized homes, and yes, you will see plenty of those here, Colts Neck does offer that small town feel. The second pro about living in Colts Neck is its location. Colts Neck is 45 miles south of New York City and 66 miles from Philadelphia. Not to mention that Colts Neck has a pretty nice position along the Jersey Shore. In just a short ride, you have access to Route 18, Route 34, and some of New Jersey's most incredible beaches. Avon, Spring Lake, Seagirt, Belmar, Bradley Beach, Asbury Park, and so many more. Speaking of location, for those of you who have to travel for work or simply enjoy traveling, you have the option of two major airports within about an hour. You have Newark International Airport and the Philadelphia International Airport, not to mention the smaller airports like Trenton and Atlantic City. You are also within a few miles of the Middletown, Red Bank, Little Silver, Hazlitt, and Matawan Aberdeen train stations, where you can grab the train to head north into New York City or south towards the shore. Although Colts Neck does have that very rural feel, you are never far away from the action and shopping in the surrounding towns. You have a ton of shopping along Route 9 and there are restaurants literally in every direction. Colts Neck does have a few restaurants of its own like Huddy's, Orlando Italian Restaurant, Perkins Restaurant and Bakery, and of course, when it comes to coffee, there's a Rook and a Dunkin' Donut. And if you haven't stopped in to Delicious Orchards, you are really missing out. There's not a lot of shopping or restaurants located directly within Colts Neck because Colts Neck has extremely strict zoning laws. And that's what has kept out all of the big commercial businesses and commercial centers. But don't worry. Everything you could need or want is not very far away. Moving on to pro number three about living in Colts Neck is the school system. The schools are highly rated and are consistently receiving A ratings from Niche.com. Children from pre-K to second grade attend Conover Road Primary School. They continue on to Conover Elementary for grades three through five, and then to Cedar Drive Middle School for grades six, seventh, and eighth. From there, students will become part of the Freehold Regional School District. The home school is Colts Neck High School, and for those who wish to apply to a more specialized program, they have the option of seven other schools to attend, depending on what they're looking to study. Moving right along, the only option for housing here in Colts Neck is single family homes. Homes are built on extremely large properties. This can be seen as a pro or a con, but for now, I'm keeping it in the pro category. Moving on 
to the fifth pro about living in Colts Neck, New Jersey. Are you a big fan of golf? If so, a big pro of Colts Neck is there are six golf courses located right within the town. Not to mention that within 20 miles of Colts Neck are an additional 65 golf courses. The courses in Colts Neck are the Colts Neck Golf Club, Trump National Golf Club, Hominy Hill Golf Course, Bella Vista Country Club, Due Process Stables Golf Course, and Pebble Beach Golf Club. If you love the outdoors, let's move on to pro number six about living here in Colts Neck, New Jersey, Doorbrook Recreation Center. The Doorbrook Recreation Center is located on 540 acres. Here you can find tennis courts, basketball courts, a playground, a splash playground, swimming pools, walking trails, and more. Doorbrook Recreation Center is part of the Monmouth County Park System, and they are always offering classes and different things for everyone of all ages to enjoy. I did do a video all about the Monmouth County Park System. You may want to take a peek at that after this video. Oh, and P.S., if you do choose to watch that video, I made it a while ago. Please don't judge. I think I look better now. Let's start talking about some of the cons of living in Colts Neck. Actually, are there any cons? With the exception of one neighborhood in Colts Neck, the Grand, all other homes are septic and well. The Grand is a community of mid-sized homes on smaller lots, and there is a monthly association fee that gives you access to the community pool, the tennis courts, and the clubhouse. For some, septic and well pretty much being your only option can be seen as a con. So this is something you really need to think about and consider before moving to the area. Another con for some may be the lack of shopping and entertainment located within the boundaries of Colts Neck. Remember that strict zoning ordinance I mentioned a little earlier? That really has kept out all of the large chain stores and those bigger commercial business centers. Many of the people who live in Colts Neck actually love that. They feel like keeping out all of those big centers and those chain stores has helped Colts Neck to maintain its small hometown feel. Another con about living in Colts Neck, and maybe the biggest, is the cost of housing. Today, as I'm recording this video, there are currently 16 homes on the market, and they range in price, ready for this? $785,000 to over $24 million. Remember, Colts Neck is known for its sprawling homes and horse farms. The market has gotten higher in price since COVID. There are often homes that you can find in Colts Neck starting in maybe the $600,000 price range, but chances are those homes are going to need work and updating, and they're not exactly the sprawling mansions we're talking about, but they are fabulous homes. Along with the high price of the homes goes high taxes. So that is something else you need to think about if you're considering moving to Colts Neck. Yes, the taxes here, they're pretty high. Honestly, I really can't think of another con to living in Colts Neck. I personally love Colts Neck, but it may not be the perfect town or the most affordable town for everyone. If you are thinking of buying or selling in Colts Neck or anywhere in New Jersey and would like my help, please reach out. I hope you enjoyed today's video on Colts Neck, New Jersey. And if you did, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell icon, and please share this video with your friends and family. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.